Hi, I'm Kirby Allison. In today's video, I'm excited to show you how to simply and easily remove shoe polish from a pair of leather dress shoes. All you'll need is the Saphir Reno mat, a cotton chamois, and a little bit of water. If you have any questions or comments during this video, please ask them in the comments section below. I enjoy getting back to as many of those questions and comments as I possibly can. There's several reasons why you might want to use the Saphir Reno mat to remove polish. Once in a while, it's a good idea to just remove all the wax polish from a pair of shoes in order to thoroughly condition the leather, like what we do in our presidential shoe shine video. Second, if you've used a color of shoe polish with which you're unhappy, the Saphir Reno Mat can very easily pull that shoe polish off of the top of the leather. Third, if cheap inferior polish was used on your shoes that might contain silicones or petroleum-based products, say it like an airport shoe shine stand or a shoe shine stand at the bottom of your building, uh, then the Saphir Reno Mat is really good at pulling all of that product off of the top of the leather. These are all good reasons to use the Saphir Reno Mat to remove old shoe polish. Using the Saphir Reno Mat is really easy. First, you wanna apply some Saphir Reno Mat to a cotton chamois. Here, I'm using our Hanger Project cotton chamois. Uh, and then next, you always wanna test uh, the Saphir Reno Mat on a hidden area of the shoe, just to ensure that it's not going to react with the leather in any unintended ways. As you can see here, it's really not pulling uh, the finish of the leather itself off, although you do see it pulling some polish off, and that's exactly what you want. So to use the Saphir Reno Mat, you've got it on your chamois, and then you're just going to really rub in small circular motions using medium to firm pressure. Now the Saphir Reno Mat really does require quite a bit of elbow grease, so you do wanna use medium to firm pressure to really work it into the leather. As you can see, I've got wax polish with pigment coming off almost immediately. Depending on the amount of hard waxes that you have built up that you're trying to remove, it will determine how much Reno mat you need to use. So for instance, on the toe of these Grinsons, uh, where I have a nice mirror gloss developed, I'm gonna need to use more Reno mat than I am on the other areas of the shoe where maybe I just have a little bit of wax polish, but primarily cream. So I'm applying it small circular motions, medium to firm pressure. It's good to change areas of your chamois quite often, uh, just as the waxes saturate that particular area. So you can see right here, where you can see a duller, kind of softer texture of the leather where I've effectively pulled off all those waxes. But then right here where it's smooth and shiny, I still have a buildup of hard waxes there. So you really have to use uh, your eye to determine uh, when you've used enough of the Reno mat. But really what you're looking for is that you've pulled all of the hard waxes off of the shoe. Uh, your chamois is always going to continue to pick up a little bit of residual pigment or residual polish that's in the leather. So you're never gonna get to the point where you're using the Reno mat uh, and then you pull your chamois off and it looks you know, totally clean. You're always gonna be getting some residual polish off. That's okay, if you keep on going until no more polish is coming off onto the chamois, then you've probably completely stripped the finish off of your shoes. You know, I've removed all of the hard waxes from the toe, right? And then, you know, the entire shoe has been dulled, uh, which is just uh, reflective of the fact that I've removed all of those surface waxes off of the leather. After I've used the Saphir Reno Mat, I like to you know, take a little bit of water on a cotton chamois. Here I'm using our Hanger Project High Shine uh, water dispenser. Uh, and just do a final rinse or wash of the shoe with a little bit of clean water just to get any of the residual Reno mat off of that leather. So you can see it's still sudsing up a little bit. Uh, and so that means that we're pulling that off of the leather. So here we are. I've used the Saphir Reno mat to remove all of the old shoe polish from these pair of Grinsons. You can see uh, this was uh, the pair that I didn't use the Reno mat on and it still has all of the waxes that have been on this shoe uh, accumulating over who knows how long. And then here on the left shoe, I've completely stripped all of those old waxes and polish off of the shoe using the Saphir Reno Mat. Now, this is a great point to follow a shoe shine routine like the Saphir Presidential Shoe Shine, uh, where we really provide a deep, thorough conditioning of this leather using the Saphir Dubbin, the Saphir Reno Mat, and then completely rebuild a new finish on these shoes. 
If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed on this video, please ask them in the comments section below. I enjoy getting back to as many of those comments as personally possible. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications by clicking the bell directly to the right of the subscribe button so that you know whenever we release new videos. And of course, please visit hangarproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other products for the well-dressed. And while you're there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on this YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm wearing a bespoke Chris Despis suit made out of a, a beautiful blue fresco fabric, perfect for the summertime. I have a Simino Godard linen pocket square, a blue Palatino socks, and of course, I'm wearing a pair of bespoke Cleverly hole cuts. This was my first pair of bespoke shoes I ordered from George Cleverly. My tie is a Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade Ancient Matter tie uh, with the silk from Keats Silk. And of course, my ensemble wouldn't be complete without a pair of our Kirby Allison horn collar stays. I'm Kirby Allison, and we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. Thanks for joining us.